like urban music, R&B, hip hop, funk. We always think of the producer as the person that did the beat. But then you have the Rick Rubens who don't touch a drum machine for 20 years, but he's still the producer. It's because he knows how to make that artist or that band sound the best on these beats. And that's where the legacy comes in, the money comes in, the whatever. I don't worry about people using cheat codes as they call them and sound packs and loop packs and all of that. Sounding great with a track right away, making it more competition. Because again, it's technology. It's like that's in every field. It's a catch 22, it makes it easier for them but it also makes it harder for them because as you said you don't get the experience with the artist or with artists you don't get the experience of having patience to figure out